Hey, good morning. I'm John, and I'd like to welcome you to another morning cup of inspiration. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm a baseball fan, and uh, this has been a kind of an unusual uh, baseball season. Uh, the Tampa Bay Rays, our home team, and my favorite team uh, went to the World Series and unfortunately uh, lost uh, in the sixth game, uh, but they had a great season. But there was one thing that I thought that was unusual and interesting about the season in general. They only played 60 games, but there were no fans at all in the stands. And I've heard player after player say that even with the simulated crowd noise and with the attempt to fill that void that was left by the vacancy of the fans, uh, they still lacked some of the passion of the game and some of the excitement that drove them on, some of the motivation that uh, drove them on uh, to victory uh, was gone this season because of COVID-19 and because of the lack of the fan in, in attendance to all of the games. Uh, there was just a, a, a dynamic element that was missing from the baseball season uh, this past year. And as I thought about that, I thought about what the writer of the book of Hebrews said in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, where he said, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience or perseverance or with passion the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The writer of the book of Hebrews points to a very interesting characteristic of our walk and race of faith that we as Christians experience every day, that we are not running a race without passion because there is a crowd of witnesses, a crowd of spectators, the hall of fame of faith. All of the believers who lived and died before us are surrounding us in an atmosphere of passion, in an atmosphere of spectators, in an atmosphere of rooting for us and cheering for us to do well in this race that is set before us. So unlike this baseball season, which was fanless and lacked in passion, as we run this Christian race, we can look around to the grandstands around us and we can see all of those believers who have gone on before us and they're rooting us on and therefore we can run this race with patience we can run it with perseverance and we can run it with passion because they're cheering us on to victory